And we're coming to you today thanks to the International Publishers Association. We want to wish you a happy translation day. Around 20 years ago, our association started a, a more continuous and fruitful collaboration and dialogue with the Italian Trade Agency, which is uh, the public body promoting uh, Italian companies uh, abroad, not only the cultural one. And together with the Italian Trade Agency, also with uh, all the institutions devoted to the promotion of the Italian culture at national and uh, international level. The pandemics uh, changed a lot the way people are interacting in this uh, business uh, sector of publishing and we all had to adapt and I think that uh, the group of the Brazilian publishers I don't know a group that, of uh, publishers that are interested in uh, taking part of international fairs, selling and buying rights. Until recently, I would have said that classical literature wasn't even a player. Um, it's more or less restricted to, um, uh, you know, traditionally it's been restricted to things like the Thousand and One Nights, translations of the Quran, and so on and so forth. Uh, that has changed in the past 10 years, thanks to the work being done by the Library of Arabic Literature, which is a project um, based in based at the, at New York University in Abu Dhabi, uh, whose publishing partner is New York University Press, and it's thanks to this project uh, and the support it's received from the government of Abu Dhabi that we've been able to produce a series of something like seventy bilingual editions of classical Arabic works. Georgia is, is a small language, remain the most difficult issues, but today we are in a good condition uh, from translating from from other languages. But we have uh, not such a luxury uh, translated jo or Georgian uh, authors to another languages. Of course, there. Are Excellent uh, translators, but uh, many countries and uh, languages are, are covered.